folks at New Mexico State University's Chili Pepper Institute know chili peppers inside and out. Its director, Dr. Paul Boslin, has co-authored four books on the subject, so I asked him to recommend some chili varieties for home gardens. Welcome to my chili pepper garden. Well, not really my garden, but the Chili Pepper Institute's garden. It's our teaching demonstration garden. We have more than 150 different types of chilies out here to show you all the great diversity chili peppers have. So I'm gonna stroll over to the ornamentals and we'll start there. Ornamentals come in a lot of different colors and shapes. Uh, you can get ornamentals like New Max Twilight that goes from a purple, yellow, orange, red transition. So you can have four different colors on an ornamental. We have other types like the one in front of me that go from a yellow to a red. All ornamentals are edible but we really don't eat them. We use them because of their, their color and their shapes in the garden, kind of like we would do a petunia or a marigold. Most of them are compact, but we do have some varieties that are tall, if that's needed in the garden. The fruit shapes come in three basic shapes. We have a round ornamental, a bullet-shaped or, uh, ornamental fruit shape, and then a long, pointy one, some people would call chili pekins. They grow well in the full sun, but can take a half a day if, if it's afternoon sun. They really are a sun-loving plant, but like all chilies, they like a soil that drains well. And so uh, if you're going to plant some ornamentals, work the soil so that it does drain well. But they can also be used as a pot plant in, inside in the house. You can have an a ornamental chili uh, for a Thanksgiving plant instead of a mum, or even at Christmas instead of a poinsettia. The next chili pepper I'd like to show you is the New Mexican pod type. The New Mexican pod type was developed at New Mexico State University by Fabian Garcia in the late 1800s from local varieties being grown in the area. He selected for high yield, some disease resistance, and also for flavor and heat. He wanted a, a milder chili so that Anglos would eat it. And what he developed is the pod type that you see in the store that sometimes is mistakenly called the Anaheim chili. The really New Mexican type with Anaheim being a cultivar. We're in front of a, a variety from New Mexico State called New Mex Garnet. This chili is being grown by farmers for the high red color to be used as, as a coloring agent. Other chilies would be grown for their flavor, like New Mex Joey Parker makes a wonderful green chili relleno. Another type of chili pepper that many gardeners know is the jalapeno. And jalapenos can range from very hot to very mild. We have a jalapeno variety, New Mex Primavera, that is very mild almost sweet when you eat it. And so again, with chili peppers, you can get very hot to very mild in both the New Mexican, jalapeno, and the next one I'm gonna talk about is the habanero. This variety here is New Mex Suave Red and Suave Orange. These are very mild habaneros. Actually, they're milder than a New Mexican pod type. They have just a little bit of heat. And if you're interested in tasting what habaneros taste like but are afraid of the heat, this is a great way to start in the garden. Another exotic chili that you may want to try in your garden is what we call ajis. This is capsicum bacatum. It's from South America, Peru, and that region. And one of the more interesting ones is what we call the orchid chili. And you can see by the shape of the fruit where it gets the name. Well, I hope this has been informative, that you've learned something about chili peppers and the great diversity and maybe uh, in the next growing season, you can plant some chilies in your garden. For more information about chili peppers and obtaining seeds, contact the Chili Pepper Institute online at www.chilipepperinstitute.org.